Qu'est-ce que j'ai moi, mon vieux? Explains it. See, Senor, here I am. I've been batting my brains out trying to figure out about that ring, and you guys, you had it all the time. Guys, how do you like that? Do me a favor, would you, when you perform the autopsy, would you check something for me? Um, this woman apparently drowned in the swimming pool, so... When you check her lungs, see if there's any evidence of chlorine. There won't be. Chlorine dissipates almost immediately in the human body. Anyway, the fluids would be masked by the effects of pulmonary edema. So, uh... Does that mean that you couldn't tell if this woman drowned, say, uh, in a bathtub? Sure, if the bathtub were full of gin. Well, check it anyway, would you? It's part of the job. Cinnamon. I hope I'm not disturbing you, sir. No, it's all right. Come in. This is none of my business, sir. Stop me if I'm out of line, but... But nobody expected you to be at your desk today. I want to be here, Lieutenant. Keep working. Keep my mind off. All right. Let's see. Uh, here's <clears throat> here's Lieutenant Duffy's report. There's no question about it. It's the Bel Air burglar, all right. It's too bad he got away last night without a trace. Oh, and speaking of reports, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, sir. I'm making terrific progress, but the. Uh... You see, I don't think we should be looking for a burglar. What? No, sir. I think we should be looking for someone who made it seem like a burglary. What are you talking about, about Columbo? Here, read Duffy's report. It shows very clearly it's the same man we've been looking for. I'm sure this is a very good report, sir. But there are a couple of things that don't add up. Like what? Well, for one thing, the fingerprints. Come on, come on, Columbo. There were no fingerprints. That's what I mean, sir. You see, Mr. Caldwell left the house around 9 o'clock. Now, he called his wife at 10.30 from the bar at the club. This is what bothers me, sir. If Mrs. Caldwell spoke to her husband on the phone, why didn't she leave any fingerprints on the phone? Now, that's strange, isn't it? The maid spent the whole day cleaning. She dusted everything, including the phones. Now, the phone in the upstairs bedroom, that's absolutely clean. The one downstairs has Mr. Caldwell's prints on it. But it doesn't have Mrs. Caldwell's prints. All right, what are you implying? That Caldwell never actually talked to his wife? Did it ever occur to you that maybe the burglar used the phone after she did and then wiped it clean? It occurred to me that the burglar used the phone after and wiped it clean? Yeah. No, sir. Why not? Well, because the burglar had to wear gloves. You see, sir, there were no prints of his anywhere in the house. Now, there's another thing that's very strange. Is this bothering you? No. Um, excuse me. There's something else. The 
way this woman's body was dressed in that nightgown, she didn't do that. Somebody else dressed her in that nightgown. Is that a fact, Lieutenant? Or just some more of your fancy guesswork? Well, you see, sir, she was wearing a pale blue nightgown, which she got from her closet. You know something? There were no prints on the handle of the closet door, either. Well, I don't see what you're getting at. Unless you're trying to tell me that Caldwell killed his wife and then faked the whole thing, is that it? Oh, no, sir, no, I don't mean that at all. No, no. No, you see, Mrs. Caldwell, she had a habit whereby she would put her nightgown under the pillow every morning. I saw a pink nightgown there under the pillow. So, of course, we know that Mrs. Caldwell would not have put on the blue nightgown. Now, here's what's interesting. Mr. Caldwell, he knew about the nightgown under the pillow. So if he had dressed his wife's body, that would be the first place that he would have looked. No, sir. We're looking for somebody else. We're looking for somebody... somebody who tried to make a murder look like a burglary. Like who, for instance? Well, sir, I don't like to speak badly of the dead. But yesterday, your wife confirmed to me that Mrs. Caldwell was seeing other men. And you think it was one of them? Yes, sir, I think that's a possibility. All right, now listen to me, Lieutenant. You're wasting your time and my time and the department's time, and it's going to stop. Now, Columbo, you must understand that no one, no one wants this man caught any more than I do. Especially now. But we are looking for a burglar. A man who killed one woman out of fear, who killed another woman to silence her. Now you go on that basis and we're going to solve this case. Is that clear? You don't think that I have anything here? Lieutenant, nobody can be right all the time. Look for your burglar. There's the killer. Just one more thing. 